Number four has to do with the crop grown the year before. We're mostly in an area where we grow corn or soybean, and if we grow corn after corn, there's a yield penalty, which sometimes can be mitigated with a little bit more end and proper or favorable weather. What we're looking at here is the effect of previous crop. This particular plot here has been in continuous corn for nine years. And even though this site received an adequate level of spring applied end, the high levels of residue and the excess rainfall have tied up that end. And so you can see that the result is ears of smaller size and plants of smaller size than, than you would normally see if this was first year corn. Here we are right across the row looking at the first year corn. We're at a site that's been rotated with corn and soybean for at least the last 10 years. And I hope you can see how much better the, the vigor and appearance of this plant is. It's taller in height, greener in color. Best yet, it has a larger ear. I knew that uh, continuous corn took a yield penalty. And the, uh, the conventional wisdom, uh, what I'll actually call a rural legend, was that the yield penalty was worse in the first year and that each year uh, that you were in continuous corn, the penalty got less. So that after five years of continuous corn, there was no yield penalty. Actually, the data shows it's exactly the opposite. The penalty actually gets worse each year you're in continuous corn. And the reason is that the penalty is due to the residue of the previous corn crop. Yeah.